What's up everybody, another beautiful day in the Dragon Isles ish and we'll be taking a look at freehold which is a part of the dragonflight season 2 dungeon pool for m plus now i'll be going over notable trash interrupts and boss mechanics let me know what y'all think of these dungeon guides in the comments want me to make more quick guides like this or perhaps more in-depth stuff so notable trash before the first boss you have the iron tide enforcers their brutal backhand which is a frontal cone don't stand in it and then you have the bone saw they have filthy blade debuff which is a stacking healing Reduction, so keep an eye on that. Now for the first boss, you have Sky Captain Crag. In phase one, he swoops around on his birdie bird and charges towards random enemies, dealing damage and knocking him back. When he dismounts, the big birdie bird will still charge or dive bomb across the battlefield. Hurts a ton. Don't get birdied. Range players will get targeted by vile bombardment, spawning a vile puddle at their location, which deals damage on impact and if you stand in the puddle. Make sure to bait this away a bit so they're not right on top of boss and melee. The Sky Captain casts Azerite Powder Shot, which is a frontal cone, but it's aimed towards a random player, so make sure to spread out around the boss. So multiple players doesn't get hit. It also leaves a dispellable dot on player's hit. You want to make sure to interrupt his revitalizing brew. It heals a ton. Once you've slapped the drink out of their hand, players can chug the brew instead to heal. You, you had enough, I'll, I'll check this drink. And slap away. Notable trash before the second boss, you want to stop the Oarsman Sea Spout ability. It spawns tons of swirls that deals a ton of damage and knocks you up if hit. Trust me, it hurts. And you want to watch out for the Vermin Trappers traps. They root you and they deal a ton of damage over time. Make sure to interrupt the Bilge Rat Brine Scales Frost Blast. Huge AoE. And be wary of the debuff they apply that makes you fall if you jump effectively stunning you i will never learn this and you want to stun or in cap the buccaneers going bananas if possible <laughs> And the harpooners, they will grip players back if they run far away from him. And you want to make sure to interrupt the knuckle dusters bellowing roar as well. Lastly, the scrappers will fixate random players. You want to stun, knock, etc. to keep them away. Moving on to the second boss, you have the Cancelo captains. Previously, you got a combo of two out of three captains here, which are Eudora, Raul, or Jolly. But they changed this previously on PTR, so you will always get Eudora and Raul, and Jolly will always be your friend. It's a jolly good friend, eh? So you will face off against Eudora and Raul. So Eudora shoots random players with powder shot and occasionally jumps far, far away and start spraying the area with grab shot, which is a massive cone fires multiple times, quickly move behind the boss to avoid it completely or be close to have a easier time dodging all the shots. Or just take it to the face and go one heal. And Raul will barrel a random player, making him disoriented and unable to do anything. Can't even see. So you want to smack it to break the barrel. Then there's barrel smash. It's a multiple smash attack in a 10 yard area that deals tons of damage and knocks you away a bit. Don't hug it. But a big part of this encounter is the lovely bartender, Rummy Mancomb. And he will throw out free liquor at random locations. If you get hit by the drink, you get either 30% crit or haste if it's a brown brew. And you take a ton of ticking nature damage if it's a green brew. Brown good, green bad. And bosses are susceptible to these brews. So you want them to get hit by the green brews, but not the brown brews. Now, as far as trash goes before the third boss, it's the same as before. More of the same. Time for the third boss, Ring of Booty. So this event, you start with catching the greased up pig three times. Slap down the Tertullian mini boss and watch out for them bouncy shells. And for the boss itself, it's Throthack the Shark Puncher! Now the boss will Sharknado, does a ton of damage if you hug the boss during it, so avoid doing that. Boss will also throw out chum or blood pools around the room, and if you stand in them, you get slowed. However, the boss will also throw out sharks that fixates and chomps on whichever player is the closest. Kiting a shark into the chum makes it stop and nom that instead for a bit. And you want to have a range or healer always be closest to these sharks so they can kite them away from melee and tank, because they really hurt when they nibble on your tootsies. Have fun. 
on. Moving on. Notable trash before the last boss. You want to interrupt the storm caller's thundering squall. Big old AoE circle. And you want to interrupt painful motivation. It no longer completely nukes down packs, so there's no reason to let it go through. It just does 1% of their max HP and damage now. You want to be wary of the officer's oiled blade debuff and make sure to dispel tanks. There's also more oarsmen, again with the sea spout, do make with the interrupts. And for the last boss, we have Harlan Sweetie, probably the sexiest dude around. You may not like it, but this, this is peak male appearance. Mm. He will spawn an iron tide ad that rushes towards a random player and blows up if they reach him. Stun him, CC him, nuke him down, keep him from blowing someone up. Harlan will also target a random player and fires off a swift wind saber towards him. Swirly whirlwind deals damage and knocks you up if you get hit. Then there's cannon barrage. Marks a player and every 0.8 second that player will drop a mark at their location which will get blown up after 1.5 seconds and he will drop several of these. You want to move slowly and in short increments as you drop these. Since there's 1.5 sec before they blow up it's easy to somewhat stack these or use up very little space so don't just YOLO run. Now when Harlan reaches 60% all his ability targets everyone in the party every time and at 30% HP Harlan's attack speed is increased by 100% his damage taken is increased by 100% and he casts his abilities more often so the last 30% is kind of the last 15% and it's just a big pad burn but when he starts targeting everyone with his abilities most of this is just dodge forehead but the cannon barrage is far easier to manage if you stack and move as a group so you don't drop fire patches all over the place now back in the olden days you'd usually have three to four marks and groups alternated between those so you'd be at one mark cannon barrage starts you slowly start a step towards the next mark rinse repeat big brain oh and you can also kill trash with the cannon barrage so if you pull the last trash with the boss you can actually kill them with it kaboom boom and yeah that's it for freehold let me know what y'all think of these bite-sized dungeon guides in the comments and if you'd like to see more dungeon guides in the future don't forget the usual stuff comment like subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell there's tons of guides coming out for 10.1 now if you want to help support my work check out my patreon as a patron you get access to the stanky gaming discord you can also get shout outs and videos coaching among other things like my eternal gratitude now also stream progression and testing on twitch stanky gaming feel free to hop on by and spam me with questions i love answering them and then thank you all for watching i will uh, see you next time Thank you.